Hey YouTube, Mr. Rampro here, and we've got another knife review. This is a Columbia River Knife and Tool product, and let's go ahead and see what we've got. you got your basic box that a lot of their stuff come in, comes in, and from here some of you guys can tell this is the Hammond Cruiser. So, oops, sorry, knocked that out of the way. In your box, you're going to get pocket clip, or replacement pocket clip, because we already have one on the tool itself and your catalog and then the plastic that it comes in so all of that out of the way now this is a really big knife this thing is uh, nice and uh, looks like it has a little bit of authority with it a little kick butt attitude that's pretty cool it's a sick looking handle and a wicked blade and for sheer size comparison I mean this this just is insane size to me we have the SOG Flash 2 so you can look at it not that much bigger but notice how beefy the handle is um, there are holes put in the handle I'm guessing to save weight but you're still talking a five and a quarter inch handle here and a four inch blade so that's quite quite the beast I mean that's huge it does feature the uh, locks system so deploy the blade and it's not the auto locks you have to manually hit it but that's still you know handy and I've shown you in other videos what that actually does but here you'll see me activate it and it comes down and prevents the liner lock from sliding over and being deactivated inadvertently by your finger so that's pretty cool we've got a really a really nice blade shape as far as I'm concerned I think it looks pretty mean pretty aggressive this is an OS 4 steel and it's got the bead blasted finish on it which I'm always a big fan of I like it a lot better than the uh, the shiny finish you know it just seems a little bit more classy and stuff like that you've got your logo here and on the other side I don't know if you can see this or not you've got Hammond Cruiser your patent number and then 7904 which I would guess would be like a model number or something like that from the factory you're getting uh, an alright edge realistically I mean I'm feeling it right now and not so great I'm sure it would probably cut paper we can give it a shot sorry this is the same little takeout menu that I used in another video It's cutting. Uh, I'm not at a great angle to really do this here. I'm kind of set up sideways on the countertop, but not bad. Really not bad. You do have a really beefy grip to grab onto. Pocket clip feels comfortable hitting against the hand, so that's pretty nice. Um, got really good, good landscape here to grab a hold of, and uh, really uses good for a thrusting. You got a lot of jimping right here and you've got a nice thrusting point here so if you were to use this as a thrusting tool this would uh, probably exceed in the uh, comparable market for sure so you've got a nice little thumb rest there or a finger rest index finger rest and a thumb ramp so you've got some really aggressive this is just it's pretty awesome I'm actually really excited about it and uh, just got it so we'll have to put a new edge on it um, I don't feel like the edge is great but you know what this is I put it in a, a tactical role definitely full-on tactical knife and um, I think it'd be it'd be pretty good for that this would be probably too big for an EDC and way too thick you can see right there and here's your uh, your flash 2 and the flash 2 is a pretty thick knife as it is but you can see you're still thicker than that so as far as riding in your pocket I don't see how this pocket clip would be extremely useful unless for maybe uh, putting on your gear or something like that for uh, military people that would definitely work got a nice strong clip to it too it's got some uh, good tension on it it's nice thick wide and uh, realistically this blade would ride pretty deep in a pocket 
So if you can see from you know about the line of the top of my thumb down, that all be in the pocket. So that's pretty uh, a deep ride on a pretty big knife. So um, kind of out of uh, room here. You've got the thumb stud to uh, actuate the knife with dual thumb stub one on either side and you've got the 420 J2 stainless steel liners so those are pretty cool and those are really th pretty thick liners you can see that just from flipping it open that the uh, liner lock goes right in the middle of the blade so that's a pretty good uh, purchase on that there and you've got a Zytel handle they say it's the operator's grip um, it's on a couple of different models too but uh, it's got like a almost like golf ball indentions on it and really really comfortable I like this a lot um, I think you're saving a lot of weight and you're not losing too much by having the uh, Zytel handle I really like it and for under twenty dollars you cannot beat this at all I would definitely recommend this so far now this is first impressions not putting it through any cutting test or anything like that I will go ahead and let you know that this looks like a lanyard hole this is not a lanyard hole so if you would want a lanyard hole you'd have to add one here you can move your pocket clip to any four of your uh, available locations so that's pretty cool you can see your hook up there there and there but if you wanted a lanyard hole you'd have to drill a hole down here because this blade hits right there so kind of a weird little spot to put a hole anyways but I guess maybe weight reduction yeah I probably would add it a couple more honestly if I was doing it for that reason but you do have a nice uh, flow through design here so you could clean it fairly well and I would definitely recommend this one so far to anybody um, it does say it has uh, Teflon bearings and a Teflon coated pocket clip so that would help you out as far as uh, riding and wearing on your gear wearing on your you know, pocket and everything like that so maybe keep that lasting a little longer this is the plain edged version as you've already seen and I think they have a combo edge but I don't really dig combo edges too much I've got a couple of them just to try them out but realistically I, I like the plain edge blade I really I think the serrations do more tearing than they do cutting you know obviously so not really worth it to me but this is just one sick awesome looking blade here and uh, I don't know. It gets five stars for me. I think this is pretty awesome. This will have to go up uh, pretty high on my list of good tactical knives. I'd have to use this a couple of times, maybe do some thrusting practice with it, but I would imagine it would excel. And uh, that's really about it, guys. This is Mr. Ram Pro, and I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks a lot for the comments, and you guys be good. Thanks a lot.